How's it going, guys? Elves Leader Carson here. Welcome back to another episode of Game of Thrones, my favorite TV show made into a video game. So let's get back to the show. As we last left off, this is kind of crazy. So apparently she controls them, he protects her, and I'm just that random guy who's like, okay, what the fuck is going on? It's blood magic. Blood the magic. more she uses it, the weaker she becomes. And they can sense it. Oh, shit. Elsa is a fool to keep taking these risks. One day, they'll kill her. us all if we're not careful. Is there some way to help her? She is convinced her blood magic is the only way to protect the North Grove. For the record, blood magic is never good. And if you anybody out there in the world... I'm not saying you guys, my fans, my... My fellow, I'm changing my fan base. We're no longer calling it the uh, the Selves Leader Army. We are calling it the awesome, uh, the awesome ones. We are awesome ones. We everybody is an awesome one, no matter what. But I alone am the the actual awesome one. The actual like the awesome one. I am the awesome one. Everyone is an awesome one, though. Moving back to what I was saying, if anyone out there in the world today is using blood magic, it is not a good idea. Blood ma like Dragon Age Origins, blood magic is evil. It is forbidden, and it's not a good idea to really cross because consorting with demons and all that kind of scary shit would not be something you want to do because a demon will betray you eventually, and blood magic is really, really bad. I mean, bad. So if if, if I'm just throwing this out, if anyone is actually gets to that point where in their life you're like, you know, I've lost everything and I can't and I have nothing else to lose and I may consort to blood magic, don't do it. It is not a good idea. So let's back to that. Her warriors are the answer, but she can't control it. I worry about her. It's more dangerous than she knows. Yeah, no shit. I know that. She was right about one thing though. The whites are growing bolder. The worst is yet to come. And that bear looks pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm sorry. He does look pretty awesome. I'm sorry if I cut you up, buddy. My, I'm sorry, buddy, if I cut you up. Now that my father's dead, there's no reason to stay. That's why he sent you, isn't it? To bring us back to Ironrath. To crush our enemies south of the wall. And avenge his this death. Place is too important. We can't leave the North Grove. And stay here to die. I'd rather live. I know what my father said. The North Grove can never be lost. But he wouldn't want us to die because of it. You don't actually know. We don't actually know what Lord Gregor wanted. If I had to say, he he must it must have been the Iron Wrath trees. The Iron Wars. Where's Sylvie? Never trust a fucking wildling. Shit. Ah, shit. I'm in that scenario, too. I'm in the dungeons. I'm okay. For now. I'm alive. That's all that matters. I could demand a trial of combat. <laughs> teeth? Ugh. Four teeth. Oh, God. There's a human teeth. Well, no shit, Sherlock, obviously. Look at the blood. Oh, it looks fresh. It looks like they didn't make it to the block. Uh, that's not good. There's a bucket, and I have a good idea what it's for. Ugh, disgusting. I have a good idea what that's for use, and I'm not gonna mess with that. Is your little buddy in there? Can I make a friend? Rats. They're everywhere in King's Landing. Well, obviously, Mira. And uh, can I? <sighs> no way to get this alight. So there's no point. I wonder if I could use it for something else. All right, we'll pick it up, just in case. Mira's smarter than she looks. Trust me when I say that. First off, let's take a look. Jailer. Please. Shut it! Please come here! Look at her. Who's she? <laughs> I wonder what she's done. Let's find out together, Mira. Can I talk to her for God's <clears throat> sakes? Uh, hello? 
excuse me. What do you want? Can you get me out of here? Because if not, I don't want to know. Hey, no talking. Jayla, Jayla, come over here. Oh, don't you start again. Why well, don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it. <laughs> or I will come in there, and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want then? Well, tell me, please. She might I'll do anything. Just tell me. Well, we could use that, folks. <laughs> Bastard. Before the day's over, they'll take us straight to the block. So don't give me that look. You can leave the judgment to the father, whatever gods you believe in. Don't give I'm it. sorry, I, I meant no offence. But we have to keep our heads held high. No matter what. Even when everything else is taken from us. <laughs> That's what I intend to do, folks. I will. I have a son. A little baby boy. Not all right. I don't know your name, but I we'll think talk. of the smell of his skin. His tuft of brown hair. Why would you think of the smell of his skin? That's disgusting. There is nothing I wouldn't do. Nothing. Just to hold him again. Dignity is worthless compared to that. I'll help you get out. What would you do in my place? I'll never see him again. Make your son proud of you. People will tell your son about you. Stories about what you were in life. Give him a story he can be proud of. But you've no idea what I've done. What happened? Doesn't matter what we've done. All that matters now is what we do next. Uh oh. Mira, making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. Ah, oh, crap. This is not gonna end well for me, folks. What? Nothing to say? Block will do that to you. They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. Take that, you piece of shit. Enough! I've come to talk. Yeah, after you betray me, bullshit. I've come to make you an offer. What offer? I was thinking about what you said. Your relationship with Cersei is valuable. You never know when that might come in handy. Oh <laughs> yeah, she'll betray you in the moment she gets a chance. I realized there's something far more valuable than your friends at court, Mira. Your name. Oh shit. I want you as my wife. Fuck that! You've gone mad. Your wife? Have you lost your mind? Not at all. This makes a lot of sense for both of us. I want Ironroth. Fuck and you're that. you're going to give it to me. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. Marrying me won't help you get Ironroth. Exactly. The title belongs to my brother. He's the rightful lord. <laughs> I'm well aware of the king's law, Mira. Mm -hmm. You think I haven't thought about that? Two of your brothers are already dead. Oh, don't remind me of that. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> he marches on your house in full force with ten times your numbers. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive the battle. Yes, they You don't know that! Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. Fuck that, I'm not A giving- A whole fast in the north can only help. I'll kill you in your sleep. Until I cut your throat in your sleep. <laughs> Doubtless you'd try, given half the chance. But you won't be. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. 
I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. Fuck that, no! You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my ads. Fuck that. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that coal boy takes your place on the block. Oh no. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. Fuck you'll that. give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. I can't do that. So, Mira. What do you say? I am ne I will never be yours. Fuck that. No. I will never be that. It is pride, honor, and is also that. You will never have Iron Rat. I will never And let you him. will never have me. What? You fool. I'd rather die. Fine. Have it your way. Before The reason why I chose that, and I'm going to go into detail, there's ways to survive like that. If he said, because the reason why is I believe in my heart. I believe it, that I will succeed. I can win that battle. Usually, when I play like strategy games and all that stuff, I was known as, and I always fight like defensive battles, I usually am known for three things. I'm known as the... I, as I nickname myself, the Lord of Defense, because even if I lose, like, let's say, half of my army, I destroy their army. And they're sometimes, like, two, three, maybe four times bigger than mine, and I still w lose, win. And even if I lose, let's say I lose the battle, I destroy almost, I make it a pyrrhic victory, because I am not going down without a fight. And I know for a fact... I believe Mira will survive. I will never let him take Iron Wrath. There's, there's pride and honor in, I guess you could say, losing um, your house, your fam like your life. There's pride and honor in losing your life. And you have to say, your, and, you, and I did say it myself, keep your head up high and make your family, and as I told her, make your son proud of you. And I would want to make, and I would want to make her proud of, I would want her family to be proud of her. I wouldn't want her to sell herself like that. Fuck that. No, that is not something Mira would do. Or at least I would never do that in her scenario. I got some satisfaction out of that though. I'm sorry Mira that I did that to you. But I felt like it was the only way. She won't get far. Not out here. Sylvie! Uh, he's my brother! I, I wasn't finished! <laughs> First off, what did you do? When you're finished here, come see me. There's something I must show you. I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which is why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. And he, he won't live much longer. But he's getting help. I thought he was getting help. Whatever they've done, it hasn't worked. There's nothing that will save him now. Which is why I needed to do something for me. Mm. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but... That's when they found me. The Nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. It's our way, Garrod. You have to feed it to him. Oh god, that's so- I can't- Oh god, oh! That's fucked up. I can't do that to I'm him. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrod. Oh, there goes my mouse, I've lost it. Give me a minute, be right back. Okay, so let's see if my mouse is still here. You're the only one who can. Okay, one. Shit! I can't. I wouldn't even respond. He's to in that. so much pain. I couldn't say anything to that, anyways. And I lost my mouse, anyway, so I wouldn't know where it is. Uh, 
I wouldn't have been able to respond to that anyways. Oh, there's my mouse. Finally, you show up when I need you. you piece of shit. Um. I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. It has no place in here. What are you doing with that knife? It's meant for you. Wait, what? <coughs> 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 oh, Jesus. That looks nasty. Gareth. Gareth, is that you? It's me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? Oh, God. I want to see her. Where is she? She wanted to be here. Did something happened to her. She can't see you right now. But don't worry. She's fine. I thought, I thought they took her away. Oh, you have to protect Sylvie. Ah! Now I have to keep that promise. Now I have to keep that promise. Cotter! Oh, oh, I can't bear it anymore! Oh. He's been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. He has a strong will. Cotter's a fighter. Always has been. <laughs> I can see that, but now you can use his death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron, the handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forrester. Ah, uh, goddammit! It seems only right that you should have this now. Alright, let's take a look at it. You're here for a reason, Garrett. It's no accident they sent you. I speak for myself. I speak only for myself. <laughs> Garrett Tuttle. Lord Gregor trusted you with the secrets of the North Grove. He must have seen something in you. <laughs> Your friend is dying. But his life is too valuable to waste. Exactly what you Give mean. Give me his heart. What? His beating heart. And his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. But... We must do this, Garrett. I fear what my... Ah, oh, shit. Well, okay, I can't... I kind of pause it in the good time, so there. I'm not going any further, and so don't hate me on me, Angela. It's okay. What the fuck? Okay. So let me try to put these pieces together. Let's do the scale, folks. If we, the pro and the con, if we kill Cotter, we, well, we didn't give our word technically that we do it that way. If we kill Cotter, we get the powers of the North Grove and we would be able to fight for House Forster and help our family in a way. So this Carter's death, Cotter's death wouldn't be in vain. But the con is, is that Sylvie will be pretty pissed at us for doing that. But I have to look out for my house as well. So she would have to understand that I have to look out for my family as well, or else I'm pretty much a giving up my family for her family. If we go with giving him the... I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah. If you go with giving him the nightshade, there's a good chance we will piss off her and everybody around her. And that will not end very well, but we won't also get the power, so we gotta make a tough decision. Well, Sylvie will like us, and she will definitely help us in the future, or at least I hope so. But I need to look at the long-term picture. Even if it's a bad decision, I'm going to do it, folks, and I think you have a good idea. What happen if we don't? I'm gonna say, you're out of your mind. This beating heart! This is madness! Not madness. Necessity. 
Madness would be letting the North Grove fall. The North Grove you must saw never what be happened loved. after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. For me, for the North Grove. Ready. Garrett. any longer and his suffering use his life to make us strong Garrett oh god what do I choose give him that poison and his blood will be useless <sighs> okay first off I don't like using blood magic I never like using blood magic there's no rules well actually there is kind of a rules for using blood magic. Blood in uh, Game of Thrones world. In the Game of Thrones world, blood magic did bring back uh, Khal Drogo, but he made him a pretty much a useless dummy. Like, a pretty much a brain-dead idiot. So, that didn't do anything. But... Using the poison would, honor would be honorable and traditional. But I need to look at the long-term picture of things. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Don't hate me, folks. In the real world, I would never resort to blood magic. Never would Let us use his blood to give us strength. I'll do it. For the North Grove. I knew I could count on you, Garrett. Use the dagger to open his chest. We need his heart. <laughs> Could I, like, hold his hand and say I'm sorry, buddy, first? Good. Now grab his heart. Quickly. While his blood still pulses through it. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Oh, God! Oh. Now bring it here. Oh. Feed the blood into the fire. I'm sorry! I'm sorry, Connor. Oh. While it's still warm. Don't I'm so sorry. Oh. Thank you, Garrett. I know it was difficult. I was never. But you did the right thing. That was not an easy thing. All right, you. Let's see. Let's see you do it. For example, do it to your brother, your best friend. Then you tell me it's now easy. Now we must burn the body. Well, we have to, or he'll come back as a white. Fire and blood. Ah, oh, shit. Dad, God damn, there's a bunch of them. Okay, this would actually be a good time to cut it off. Oh, <laughs> that was so bad. Oh. I'm doing this for the long-term vision, folks. I don't like blood magic, but I've always been, I've always told myself to use things to your advantage if you have the opportunity to. To use things to your advantage if it's offered. If it, like, if it helps you in the long term, use it while you can. I've always been a strategist, and I think that was probably the long-term vision. I didn't give my word, first off. And, God, ugh, that was really gross. I didn't, I didn't pro, I kind of, I wouldn't have said anything. Like, I'm taking Angel Arch's road. Sometimes silence is the best answer. I'm not going to answer that. I'm not going to answer that. Mm -mm. <laughs> if he's watching this, I swear, that's what you do sometimes in my mind. In my mind, you're like, I'm not going to answer you. I'm gonna not going to answer you. I'm going to be like Snarky Clem. I'm going to be Snarky Clem. Mm. <laughs> okay, so that's it for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching. To the next. I love the cliffhanger here, by the way. And will they will they be able to break into the camp? Will they be able to save Ryan? Or will they meet horrible dapes and get stabbed in the butt and in the neck? The crazed neck stabber army. Anyway, <laughs> or will to find out in the next episode of Selves Leader Carson's Game of Thrones. Okay. Anyways, thanks for watching. And as I always say at the end. Stay you, stay cool, and stay awesome. Bye-bye!